So today out here in the rocks again, uh, it's very hot today around 35 Celsius. So my main sort of objective today is test how much heat the chassis can take. Obviously this is a black PLA which doesn't help. If it's too much for it then I might run, uh, might get some white PLA and print that instead but overall uh, should do fine I think. And also we have a new power system here. We're running the Crawlmaster Mini V2 strapped underneath that chassis support and a revolver full size 1400 kb oh we also have some new links actually we've finally got some metal links made in the front and in the back uh, i replaced the lower link here and it has some extra clearance there's two bends in it now and we also added a new extended output here at the back they give us a bit more clearance again so let's get going First breakage today, um, took a side impact to the rear axle, sheared off that uh, rear upper link mount. Um, again, obviously that's pretty thin material, so I can just beef that up a little, uh, just continuous curve. It's not gonna affect um, the clearance in any way, but I'm just gonna go ahead and bolt both of these to the uppermost uh, upper link mount and uh, keep going.
食完。Again, um, today it actually done really well. Um, I've been running this in the heat for around 45 minutes, so I constantly uh, the PLA ha uh, held up just fine, a lot better than I expected. Um, other than the breakage we have here, where we sheared the upper rear link mount here, uh, the truck actually performed pretty well, and uh, surprisingly, the PLA has held up uh, to the heat. You know, it's basically as hot as it gets here. It's around today's around uh, 35 Celsius. Uh, so yeah, I don't think this breakage is due to heat by any means. It was just a really hard fall, so just gonna beef that up a little bit. Um, add a bit more material to the edge there. And other than that, this has actually turned out a lot better and survived a lot better than I thought. Um, the revolver and the Crowmaster Mini also held up fine. It does run warm, but it doesn't seem to heat up. It feels to me at least, if you, um, on at the startup, and the, when it's really quiet and running really slowly, that seems to heat up the ESC quite a bit, but as soon as you get up into RPMs, into like the next step, so it's like a, the throttle feels not like linear, it just has steps, but as soon as you get to the second step of the RPM range, it seems to be just fine, you know, has no body, it's been in the sun for like 45 minutes straight, uh, on the hot rocks, does just fine. Um, on the other hand, the tyres obviously felt actually a bit too soft. I think in this weather especially, uh, and on those rocks, those are like really, really sharp and um, coarse granite rock. Um, especially this high temperature really eats the tyres. Uh, so I think the Proline G8 will probably um, do a bit better uh, in terms of uh, longevity in that climate. But yeah, everything worked really well. The new clearance, uh, high clearance links also worked very well. Again, seems to be perfect, um, a lot of clearance and not a scratch on the drive shaft so far, so that's good. So back at home now, um, I did actually realise that this piece is a little deformed, as you can see, it is sort of sagging here in the middle, and I think it's a combination of factors, obviously today was really hot, but also this was where the ESC was strapped to, and uh, clearly it does put up quite a bit of heat, and it has sort of deformed this piece, so again, Gonna probably change this up a little. Um, I might end up uh, making an ESC mount of aluminium, uh, which will obviously not melt as easily, and also it would help it uh, hopefully dissipate more heat, as obviously this ESC has no um, heat sink itself. But for now, um, you know, this is not too big of a problem. It's still uh, plenty strong enough, uh, I think. At least I didn't notice anything while I was driving, so I guess that's a good sign. Anyways, yeah, interesting.